Hey everyone, Johnny here from WP Johnny to talk to you about where to put your data center. So that means uh, in which server location should you use to host your website to get the, the nice, the fastest response time to your visitors. So um, just so you know, I'm from the US. I live in Los Angeles, so everything I say is very US centric. But we'll start here. Basic rule. If you have local traffic, you need to pick whatever data center that's nearest you. So if your traffic, most of your visitors are from Los Angeles, uh, right here, then you pick a, a data center close to here, a server location close to there. If you're in Europe, pick something in Europe. If you're in Asia, pick something in Asia. If you're in um, Australia, pick something in Australia. I don't think Singapore is fast enough to Australia. If you're in Africa, okay, or South America, then it gets a little dicey. Some regions like this, they may not have reliable infrastructure. So in cases like that, I still might recommend people to use something like an, a European data center to reach Africa. Um, likewise, uh, like India, Pakistan, um, I mean, depends, right? I still might prefer like a Singapore data center to reach India. Now for South America, um, same thing. I have some clients in South America. They still prefer US data centers to, to reach their traffic in South America because there's better infrastructure, the inter you know, electricity doesn't cut out, internet doesn't cut out, that, those kinds of issues. Um, now, in Brazil, Sao Paulo, I believe, uh, Google, you know, Google has a data center there. They, there are some companies like Google or Amazon, they have so much money that they can build an infrastructure, they can build a city, a power plant, um, and all that, power lines and all that to ensure that their business doesn't go down during natural disasters or just, you know, random, random government shutoffs. So um, that's, that's where I'm at with the uh, localized traffic. Now, when it comes to worldwide traffic, what should you do? Okay, uh, generally I would say we try to stay below 100 milliseconds for the ping time, right? Because, I mean, the, the less, the faster. So if you're in the US, most of your traffic is in the US, I would like to pick a server somewhere in the middle. Ta you know, Colorado is okay, um, even Dallas, Texas. You can go Chicago, um, Oklahoma is fine. You know, one of these regions somewhere in the middle is fine. But what if you pick something on the very edge, right? Like Fremont or New York. So let's look. I love to go to, um, it's called the Wender Network. And then I click on their, their let me show you. I click on their global ping statistics. So let's, let's uh, pick, what happens if we pick Fremont, California? That's West Coast US. Between Fremont and New York is 69 milliseconds, so that's not bad. So the U.S. is small enough that this traffic really travels. Um, the same is the case for Europe. Anywhere in Europe is still relatively fast. I love to use the Frankfurt location. Okay, and here's a Frankfurt location. We'll check between Frankfurt and London. 13 milliseconds, that's nothing. What about Frankfurt and Moscow? 42 milliseconds. Lisbon, 50 milliseconds. What about uh, Morocco? Oh, I don't know a name of a city in Morocco. Let me, um, okay, how about Kampala? I'm just gonna, I forget. 157 milliseconds, that's not bad. And then Morocco's what, up here? And this city is, oh, Fez, okay. 80, 80 milliseconds, so not bad. You can get, you know, even Europe, you can reach um, Pakistan, uh, Lahore, India, or is that Bangalore? I don't know. In 158 milliseconds, and then also from Pakistan, to go to Singapore is 300. So so in a way, you're still faster going from here, Frankfurt, Germany, out to India. And uh, you know, Bangladesh. Or oh, maybe, Bang okay, well maybe just to India. And then over here, you pick the Asian region, the Singapore region um, covers this pretty well. All right, if you have worldwide traffic, your traffic is everywhere in the world, I like to use West Coast US. I, I think it's the nicest, it can reach Europe in like, you know, 150 milliseconds or so. It can also reach Asia in like 150, 200 milliseconds or so. If you have um, obviously US and Asia, then of course, again, I would stick um, West Coast US. If you have Canada, okay, choose, right? And some Canadians have traffic, uh, have US uh, visitors as well, up to you. If you have mainly US and East Coast, uh, US and Europe, then I like to pick the East Coast location. So for example, let's pick New York. Um, and here we pick New York, and between New York and Los Angeles, as we can see, 60 milliseconds. Between New York and London, 75 milliseconds. Between New York and Moscow, 130, still not bad. So, so East Coast US would be my pick if your traffic is US and Europe. 
Um, and then, you know, for Asia, uh, you, you know, you decide, right? Is it Asia and Europe or is it Asia and US or is it Asia and Australia? And then again, if you're in Australia, pick, pick like Sydney, Melbourne, something like that, right? Uh, and, and I'm sorry, anything in Australia or New Zealand, pick, you know, like Sydney, Melbourne, any of that. Um, and then for South Africa, you know, uh, I don't know about their infrastructure. I personally, if, if somebody wanted to host in South Africa, I would still use uh, like the Frankfurt Data Center. Germany has great um, infrastructure. I don't think they have any power issues, uh, internet, you know, internet connectivity issues. Um, so anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys around. Thanks for watching.